Hoosier Friday Night Overtime is brought to you by Ortho Indy. We're back here tonight on Hoosier Friday Night Overtime. Anthony Cowan here with you. I'm glad you're with us here tonight, late night, here on Mindy TV, Channel 23. And we're joined tonight by uh, one of the top coaches in the area. I'm sure you know the face, know the name. Rick Strive, head coach of Cathedral. And it's one of his players, senior lineman here, talking to uh, Ted Karras. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Hoosier Friday Night Overtime tonight. And, Coach, who would have thought you guys are Cathedral 0-3, now 1-3. But, boy, yeah. is that one special, right? Yeah, anytime you get a chance to beat your rival that uh, yeah. right down the street, that, that's always big for us. And our, our kids did a great job tonight. We got out of the blocks very well and played well early. Yeah, I'm, I'm having some fun with you. I know Cathedral fans are probably like, what's he doing making fun of us <laughs> one and three? But, Coach, I know you guys have played a, a heck of a schedule. Right. Uh, top teams in the country. We'll talk right. more about that in a moment. But how does it feel to get your first win against, uh, you know, your arch rival in Chittard? feels great to, you know, it was a tough game against our grade school buddies. You know, it feels good to come out on top. Yeah, what does a win like that do for your program, though? I mean, because you're playing against a very good team in, in Chittard. Oh, it, it does great things. You know, we, we're building confidence. You know, we want a uh, snowball effect throughout the playoffs. We want to win 12 straight games in a state championship. Coach, we're so used to, uh, you know, Cathedral being undefeated, 9-0, and 10-0, you name it. And to start the season off 0-3, uh, what was your message to the guys? But to hang in there. We've, we've played three great programs in Carmel, uh, East St. Louis, and yeah. St. Xavier in Cincinnati. Uh, that their combined record, they may have only lost one game between the three of them now. But uh, we've, we've played some really good people, and we've been right in every one of our ball games. So uh, we felt pretty good about actually where we were. We, we knew we weren't that far away. And tonight, what was the difference? What was the key? How did you all get the win tonight here uh, against um, Chittard? Well, I think a lot of it was we had three weeks of frustration built up, and uh, uh, it, it, might, it might not have mattered who we played tonight, but our kids really came out and, and uh, took everything that we'd worked on for the last three or four or five weeks, and, and it all came together. Yeah, and, and Ted, what, what is it like preparing for uh, Shatard? I mean, you played him years and years, but you know, being a senior, uh, you don't want to lose this game, especially your senior year, right? For sure. No, you know, you're going to be on the... You're going to come back to the north side, you know, 20 years. You want to know that you, you won that game. <laughs> That's right. What do you like about this year's team? You've been one of the leaders on the team as a senior. What do you like about your team? I like that we're coming together. You know, we had three tough weeks. We, we, we found out who we were, and now we come out with a big win. That, that, was, that was great. We really found out who we're about, what we're about. We're talking to the, the, the men from the, the Irish, uh, the Cathedral Irish head of Coach Rick Stripe and his player offensive lineman here, Ted Karras. And, uh, Coach, um, when you uh, get ready for and you look out for the upcoming season for us, the latter part of the season, what can those tough matchups you mentioned against St. X out of Ohio, what can those games do for your program as you get ready for the postseason? Well, you know, four it, or five weeks yeah, away? As, as we move along through the season, it, it, we go back to we're not going to play too many people any better than what those guys are. Uh, this is a situation where East St. Louis was the fastest team I've ever seen in 26 years of coaching. I hope we don't see anybody like those right. guys again. But we, but we, we got better by playing those guys, and that that's that's the part that what comes about uh, out of all this when it's all said and done is that we improved, we got better week by week, we found out things that we need to work on. And, and have, uh, have have done so so far. And Ted, you're off to Illinois next year. Talk about that, getting an opportunity to play uh, for the final line eye. Big Ten, you know, it's a great opportunity. We have two coaches on our staff, Coach Boyson and Coach Brownlow. Who Brownlow went to Cathedral and played uh, played for Illinois, so I'm really excited to keep the tradition going. That's great. Well, congratulations on your win tonight against Chittard. I got a, look, a couple of gifts here for you guys. Thank you. Some shirts here. Coach, one hey, for you as thank well. You. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in late tonight Pleasure. here as well, all right? And good luck to you Irish as well. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, back to the highlights right now. Pike hosting Lawrence Central tonight. The Red Devils a disappointing one and two on the season. And uh, late uh, in the game here, uh, it's um, the Bears' uh, Trey Robertson uh, fumbles the football. The Red Devils, Antonio North recovers it. Then uh, it's a crab tree here with the fumble a little bit. Then he picks it back up. Then he goes uh, 39 yards for the touchdown. Pike up 20-7. to seven. Uh, More Pike after this. Again, Grant Kitkoff 
hits Gray for the 10-yard touchdown. Pike wins 37-14. to The Red Devils are 2-2 two two on the year. More scores for you tonight and highlights. Unbeaten Southport taking on Perry Meridian. First quarter, no score. Falcons to Brooks with the nice run. That play there will lead to a Matt Bennett uh, 20 yard field goal, and the Falcons were up three to nothing. Southport answers. Uh, they fake the punt. Jimmy Bayless goes uh, 10 yards to get the first down. Then it's uh, Trevor uh, Gebhardt hits Bayless for the touchdown, but it's not enough as Perry Meridian beats Southport tonight 19 to 7. Other scores on a busy night of Hoosier Friday night. Tech moving on. Nice win for them 30 to 6. It is the Lafayette Central a Catholic a winner tonight as well, 24 to nothing over Garen. And Kokomo blinks Huntington North, and Cecilia takes down Beach Grove tonight in scores of high school football. All right, still to come here on Hoosier Friday Night Overtime. We'll debut our insider segment as we sort through tonight's results and look ahead to next week. And don't forget, you can participate on wishtv.com. Check out statewide scores, game highlights, and more at wishtv.com.